This video will show you to create service connectors using API documentation, exposed through Swagger, and to create cloud application integration process, that will weave the actions on these service connectors into a single unit. In this demonstration, we will use Marketo as an example. Marketo is SaaS-based marketing automation software, built to help organizations automate and measure marketing engagement, tasks and workflows. To access Marketo, we need to provide inputs like client ID, client secret, and a grant type, which returns access token as output. The access token is then used for further interactions with the Marketo system. Let's get started. This is the Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services login screen. Enter your credentials and click Login. And select Application Integration Service from the list of available services. Let's begin by creating Marketo Login API Service Connector. Click New. And click Service Connectors. There are two service connector patterns available, Create from Vizdal and Create from Swagger. We will select Create from Swagger and click Create. Enter name, location and description. Select file as the Swagger source. Download the Swagger file from the given location and save it on your local file system. Choose this file here. The Swagger is parsed and gives a list of operations here. Click Next. Review the summary and next steps and click Finish. We will now configure the service connector. The Definition tab defines connection properties. In this case, host name is defined and pre-configured. The Actions tab defines the operations available for this service. Action defines the generic properties for this operation. The Input tab defines the inputs required for this operation to work. Client ID Client secret and grant type are mandatory input fields, whereas the partner ID is not mandatory. Enter values in the test with text boxes for each of these input fields. To add more input fields, click the Add icon. Enter details here. To delete, click the Delete icon. The binding tab defines the URL that you will connect to. The Output tab defines the output fields. We will add a few output fields. Similarly, we have added output fields like Access Token, Scope, Token Type, Expires In, and Response. The Test tab lets you test your service connector. Click Test. The test is successful. Status 200 means, the call has passed. The number 28704 expires in, is the number of seconds, after which the token will lapse. Please note down the access token. You will need this in the subsequent steps. Save and publish the service connector. Next, we will need to build a connection on top of the Marketo Login API Service Connector. Click New and Connections. Enter Marketo Login API Action as the connection name. Select the service type from the folders. Select where we want to run the connection and enter the host name. Save and publish the connection. Now that the login service connection is made to Marketo, we will need to make the lead service connection to Marketo. For this, we will import the Swagger definition in the same way as we did for login services. Click New and click Service Connectors. Select Create from Swagger and click Create. Enter Marketo Leads API as the name, select File as the Swagger source. Download the Swagger file from the given location and save it on your local file system. Choose this file here. 
the swagger is parsed and lists the operations here. Review the summary and next steps. We'll now configure the service connector. The definition tab defines the connection properties based on the swagger that you imported. The action tab shows all the operations. Select the get lead by ID using get. Action defines generic properties. The input tab defines the inputs required for this operation to work. Lead ID is a mandatory field. Enter a test value for the lead ID. Enter the access token that you noted before in the login API service connector. The binding tab defines the URL that you will connect to. The output tab defines the output format. We'll add email as the output field. The test tab lets you test your service connector. Click test. The test is successful. Status 200 here means the call has passed. This is the email of the lead that we gave. Save and publish the service connector. Next, we will need to build a connection on top of the Marketo Leads API service connector, just as we did for login API. Click New and Connections. Enter an appropriate name for the connection. Select the service type from the folders. And enter the host name. Save and publish the connection. Now, we have two disjoint Marketo service connectors. One of them gives access token as output, whereas the other expects access token as input. We will need to weave these two connectors into a single unit, so that the user can perform coding paradigms like decision making, and parallel path execution. We will do this using a process, and call this Marketo API business process. Click New. Select Processes and click Create. A design palette appears, where you can create the process design. Start and end are added by default. In the General tab, we'll enter the name of the process as Marketo API Business Process. We'll configure this process as a HTTP SO process, allow anonymous access and run on cloud server. The Input Fields tab defines the inputs required for this process. We'll add client ID in. Similarly we have added client secret in, grant type in, and lead ID in. Add email as the output field. We'll now add a service step. And call this service invoke market o login API. In the Service tab, we have entered the service type and connection details. The input fields list client ID, client secret, and grant type. We'll edit the client ID field. Similarly, we have edited the values for client secret and grant type. Save the process. Add another service step after Invoke Marketo API. And name it, Invoke Marketo Lead by ID using Get API. In the Service tab, we have entered the service type and connection details. Update the input fields. Next, we'll add a decision step after Get Lead ID using Get. We'll call this decision as valid lead ID. In the decision tab, select email for field, path condition as equals, and leave the value field blank. If the email is blank, it indicates the lead ID was invalid, and the execution will take path 1. Otherwise, 
it will return a valid email address, and the execution will take path 2. Save your updates. Next, we'll add an assignment step for the equals branch. And call it, assign email output failure. Fill in the assignment's target and value. Similarly, we'll add another assignment step for the otherwise branch. And call it assign email output success. Fill in the assignment's target and value. Save and publish this process. We'll now execute the process. Click Properties. And click the Process Properties tab. Click View Swagger File. Client ID in, Client Secret in, Grant Type in, and Lead ID in are the required input fields. Back on the Properties window, click Copy to copy the process URL, and paste it in a new tab. Enter the input fields that you noted from the Swagger file, and the relevant input values that you noted while creating the Leads API service connector. The execution is successful and returns a valid email ID. Back on the Informatica Cloud application integration screen, open the application integration console. In the Processes tab, you will see an entry for the process that you executed. Click the ID to see further details. Notice the execution path with the green tick. The path taken is a success path with valid lead ID. Click the Invoke Market Login API service. Review the input fields and the output fields. Similarly, click the Invoke Market Lead by ID using Get API service. Review the input fields and the output fields. The output is a valid email ID. We'll now simulate a failure execution. Enter a lead ID with value 1. The email out says, email not found. Now, back on the application integration console, click the ID to view further details. Notice that the path taken as shown by the green tick is a failure path. Review the input and output fields for the invoke market login API service. Similarly, review the input and output values for the invoke market OLED by ID using Get API service. Notice the lead ID is 1, which is an invalid value. The email shows blank. If you wish to do a further detailed debugging, you can go to the advanced view. Click Variables. Let's look at the input fields. Here you can see the input values to the process. Let's look at the output fields. These are the output values from the process. This concludes the video demonstration on creating and executing a market or business API process.